All right, so there's just a few ground rules. I'm not gonna be a stickler about it or anything, but try to avoid no clipping as much as you can unless you get stuck or if you get sent back to the beginning of the level. Otherwise, you might get some spoilers. Try to avoid using super OP weapons. Uh, definitely no nukes, unless you're me. <laughs> okay. The overall plot, it's pre-planned, uh, so please don't attempt to alter that. Um, and also don't kill friendly NPCs. There aren't too many that I remember. You hear that, Timble Bryce? <laughs> okay, I, I'll try to restrain my murderous tendencies. And again, I'm not going to be super picky. Uh, you can, you can like, laugh or be horrified at my narrative decisions. Last rule, when the narrator voice says something on, along the lines of, Gordon and Eli reflect on this, or Gordon and Eli discuss this, uh, please do that thing. It's, it's going to be janky and awkward, but that's, like, you guys in a nutshell, so... <laughs> Gordon was dazed and confused. He had just witnessed Eli Vance die at the hands, or, well, re rather the tongue of some strange, omnipowerful worm thing. But then as soon as he blinked, Eli was back and Alex was gone. Eli starts to plot his revenge on G-Man with Gordon, who has miraculously gained the power of speech. Discuss. Hi. First question. I know, I know you just came back to life and everything, but uh, this is a little bit more attention grabbing to me right now. And I would like to, for my, my very first question to be, can you explain what that is? You see, Alex programmed Dog to whenever something should happen to her, he goes into his power stance mode. I, I was actually asking about this. This is what we call an error. So anyways, we should probably find Alex. I'm okay. Well, I mean, there is that. I'm not sure if that's actually her or not, but up there in the rafters, there's. <laughs> you guys, you guys, you guys. Yes. Uh. G man uh, my uh, employers uh, they skimped out on my 401k again so I decided to just defect from them they have Alex um but yeah I just totally had a change of heart and I like want to help you guys find Alex and the Borealis and stuff that sounds cool what do you think he made my daughter become unforeseen consequences. L now, listen, I was under I was under orders from 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 my employers and like now they're the ones holding her and not not me. I I can't I don't know where she is. But that's why that's why I want to help you and I know exactly where to start. I know somebody who might very well know the location of the Borealis. I do. It's right there. It's, no, that like that's metaphorical because it's like out in the horizon. You know? Oh, okay. Then, like, I forgot the horizon implies metaphors. We have the ability to see in metaphor now. <laughs> yeah, just this one time, and maybe, maybe other, maybe other places. I don't know. Oh yeah, that Alex is just a. Honestly, it was just gonna be an Easter egg that I thought viewers might see, but you noticed it, so that's awkward. All right. To our vehicle, not this helicopter. Oh, I, that'd be I, too I, obvious. I found it too uh, convenient. How about old, reliable? We're yes. driving to the Arctic. Oh. Yeah. And so they set off to the Borealis in the distance. Uh, metaphorically speaking, it's not actually there. Um, and so they headed off. Um, no, wait, that was the line. All right, next map. Now loading GM underscore Taco Bell. <laughs> the next step. Follow me into this meeting room where oh. are help. <laughs> I, Gordon, you are banned. Uh, I don't. I don't know how I got here. I just. I've materialized here. It's not my fault. 
Listen, G Man, you you have interdimensional teleportation powers, but if someone wants to walk through the door slightly early, that's apparently too much for you. Um. Uh, G Man. Anyway, why are we here? Before the world was invaded by the Combine, everybody knew where the Borealis was. Everybody. But then the Combine used the suppression field or whatever and made everybody on Earth forget it. But however, there is one place, and one place alone on this Earth, that has successfully defended itself from uh, Combine rule. It's this Taco Bell that's located in South Dakota. The employees <laughs> banded together and resisted combine rule to the point where they just gave up. And it's because they have so fiercely resisted the rule that I'm wondering if perhaps their general manager of food will know where the Borealis is. But we'll have to we'll have some fierce resistance from the Taco Bell employees. Why? <laughs> I like how they have taco written across their chest yeah, and yeah. bell on their feet. <laughs> They have so embraced their occupation that it's become their very identity. Very inspiring, but it's too bad we do have to kill them. Any questions? Wait, we have to kill them? Okay. If you say so. Yeah, not the general manager, though. Um, he, he looks different. Hop on. I... You can use that seat or you can use the regular. Yeah, no, I'm Gordon Freeman. I don't ride in the back. Away we go. Oh, taco wood. I can't believe we made it. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Oh, this isn't working. Wow, you, you weren't kidding. These guys are serious. <laughs> That's a great place to work. Fun fact. <laughs> All right, I crawled in through the window. <laughs> this right. feels like I just clicked on a random server in Seven Co-op and joined. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this... You know how you said, don't kill the general manager? Oh no. He might have the information that we need. Oh, this is, the, this is his office, okay. Oh, oh thank God. <laughs> All right, spill your secrets. Yo, bros, <clears throat> my name is Kyle, and I, like, I will never tell you any of my secrets. You start pressing him. You start Can pressing you <laughs> Tell us the secrets, please. Oh, are you trying to figure out where the Borealis is? Oh, yeah, I can tell you that. Um, So, like... It originally belonged to this shadowy organization of, like, CIA dudes, but then they gave it away to Aperture Science, but then the Combine took it over. Weird stuff. Anyway, sorry for the total misunderstanding. I, like... No, no, all of us Taco Bell people love you, Resistance dudes. Hopefully my employees didn't give you too much trouble. They could be a bit defensive, but, like, they're my whole world. They're my favorite. Oh, yeah, I'm I'd, sure they'll be fine. Yeah, I'd, I'd hate it if something were to happen. To yeah, no, uh, we seem to get along okay. There wasn't too many problems. They, they, they got a little bit upset, but, you know, we, we talked them down. And... The, the, they, they ta the, you tacoed them down? <laughs> oh, my uh, gosh. Uh, <laughs> okay, see ya, Kyle. Can you please get my assistant manager for me? Oh, no. Oh, okay. The crew set uh, set off in their pickup truck to start driving from South Dakota to the Arctic regions, where they continued <laughs> their search for the fabled research vessel. I did not stop to consider when I wrote this part that he was revealing stuff that we already know, because like when we saw Mossman's video, she was literally like in the Arctic. <laughs> oh, so we yeah. just decided to go to Taco Bell, committed mass genocide, and for information that we, we've been known forever. Yeah. Well, you know, the multiverse. I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's some kind of excuse that can be made with that. <laughs> oh, nanotechnology! <laughs> this way, there's another planning room. I feel it in my chakras. Or something. 
Oh, so there's just random rooms placed around here that lets us, uh... Yeah, isn't that sus? After an exhausting <laughs> drive, the G-Man leads Gordon and Eli into the basement of a building in the Arctic regions, where they will begin to formulate a plan. But before we get to that, you all have heard of... You all have heard of Lo-Fi studying girl. But have you ever heard of her cousin, Lo-Fi spinning Barty? Barty? Day oh. and night. This security officer asserts dominance over his academic studies by assuming an alpha stance and showing off his alpha dance. Admire his courage and bravery in the face of complete and utter schoolwork. Dimples, you should put royalty-free lo-fi over this. Anyway. He just he destroyed his computer. Yeah, he it's because he asserted dominance over his studies. Nobody's seeing this right now. So, his his studies saw it. He he was in a Zoom meeting actually. So like, <laughs> oh entire, okay, <laughs> the entire class saw it. Anyway, G Man decided to go scout out the area. Eli, who had previously been antagonistic towards the mysterious government agent, felt severe whiplash in his sudden cooperation with them, especially after he used his beloved daughter to relay some strange message, and seemingly abducted her for his own purpose. Gordon was unsure of how to feel himself. They discussed this. <laughs> Waiting awkwardly for G-Man to leave. Okay. All right, Eli, we can talk about him now. He's he's busy scouting out Okay, something. good. Why so, are we trusting this guy? I mean, we really don't have any other options. Like, I yes, mean, what are we, we do. do? Just don't trust the guy. <laughs> I mean, by trust, I mean we're, like, letting him guide us around, but, uh... Why is the... Ca we don't he brought necessarily... us to a place with a chrome couch. I don't understand what the material of the couch has to do with anything. It's not leather. It's not fabric. It's chrome. Th that doesn't send up red flags. How is this comfortable? I mean, he is obviously not a human so i don't know what's comfortable for them exactly. but anyways aliens got us into this whole zen nonsense and led us to this point why are we trusting another one uh because without him we wouldn't know what direction to walk in uh in order to find alex so i mean unless you want to just choose a direction and start walking uh let's do that all right <laughs> about to derail the whole plot line <laughs> This is how D&D works. <laughs> uh, Gordon and Eli decide to play along for now. <laughs> okay. Eli, let's go back inside and sit on the chrome couch. I can't couch. believe we just got Stanley parabled. <laughs> oh, hey. So, I... how, how did scouting go? Okay, so, like, there's some enemies we gotta deal with. That's okay. Yep, alright, let's that. go. There's there's a tower in the distance, and my G-Man intuition tells me that it will have some of the answers we seek. Away we go! <laughs> Ignore that. <laughs> Gate opening sounds, nothing happens. What wait the, a minute. Wait, is that wait, is that Alex? Did we just <laughs> did we just pass Alex? Oh my gosh, you guys, it's Alex! Go to her. Oh, I should probably enable AI. Where'd uh, well, oh, she's gone again. We lost her. <laughs> we lost her. Again. Oh no, she's dead. Wait, that wasn't truly Alice. <laughs> Who would oh, have guessed? Okay. Thank God for the retcons. <laughs> yeah, it's she, she was cloned. In fact, there's more Alex's up ahead. Are you gonna get in? We have some people to, uh. I'm kind of assisting by standing on top of the car while shooting them. Oh, uh, fair enough. Okay. Why are you running over your daughters? Clones. <laughs> okay, they are hostile, no wonder. Um, okay. G-Man, do you know anything about this? <laughs> okay, I think oh. we're gonna need some heavy artillery real quick. Give me one moment. All right, give me a moment. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, G man. <laughs> 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 
You took a little too long with that, Eli. <laughs> I, I couldn't. I, we don't have specialties, so it wasn't. I couldn't use that. Also, I don't know why you decided a Tommy gun was the optimal choice for taking down Striders, but oh, whatever. You're just I was panicking. Leave me alone, Gordon. Okay, follow the red. <laughs> Oops. Follow the red arrow. Um, and go straight to the top of the tower. I have to go commit bathroom. Oh, okay. But uh, I'm stuck. I think he just died. That's okay. I mean, uh, we have a general idea of where we're going now. Thank you. Thanks to that very helpful red arrow. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh there's I another heard. one. Eli, are you sure you want to save Alex? That's not Alex. That's an unforeseen consequence. I, I still I feel like there's some kind of pent up resentment that you're not talking about. Dad, Gordon, help! Oh boy. Uh. I did not raise my daughter to be a damsel in distress. Oh. It's the real Alex. You can tell because her jacket's a different color. Oh. Don't worry, we can unlock it. G-Man's employers tried to get me to accomplish some nefarious and ethically questionable tasks, but I refuse to obey. Wait, you don't have to... Okay, well, <laughs> so, we freed her. They handed me over to the Combine. The Borealis, it's in a crevice right next to this tower. I, I haven't got much strength left. It's so cold up here, and they di didn't give me a coat, which has caused me to commit big cold... Uh, I feel sick and out of strength. <laughs> Listen, it, if they successfully harness that power, it could have disastrous consequences for humanity. Dad, I, I, I know you wanted to destroy the Borealis, but it's, it's too late for that. You have to try to use it for good. You, you have to... You have to activate the... Uh, but why is it... Okay, I have a couple notes here. One, <laughs> I don't think that coughing up blood is exactly the symptom of hypothermia. Um, especially not a prevalent one, even if it is. And Your second, daughter just uh, died. Are you going to nitpick I'm trying to point out things. Leave me alone. <laughs> just because you have the ability to talk doesn't mean you should. Eli was in denial. It's the five stages of grief. Give me a, Give me a moment. All right, you have you have three minutes. <laughs> you got okay, to go. is the, oh my goodness. The, Though Eli was absolutely devastated by the loss of his daughter. Absolutely Gordon, devastated. Gordon encouraged Eli to not let his daughter's death be in vain and to press on towards the Borealis. Here's uh, my second question. Thank you for reminding me, narrator voice. She said it's too late to destroy the Borealis, but I, I figure that that is going to be easier then figuring out how to use it for good. But then, dear character in this story, you wouldn't get the epic reveal that your voice actor will absolutely hate in the next level. Oh, and so it... the movie can happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Check outside and tell me if you see the Borealis. Oh, uh, yeah, I see it. I, I see the... Celebros. Celebros. It's, it's Don't worry about it. Cele Cele no. Gordon. 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 I know you just gained the ability to talk, but like that. That's that's backwards. Why is it's, it backwards? I don't know. It says Borealis backward and. All right. I'm back. Uh, condolences for your loss. Thanks. My, I, I cannot, I cannot hide who my employers are for much longer. The answer will be all around you. <laughs> that was perfect <laughs> level transition. <laughs> so, uh, the answer is all around us. My employers oh, are dear. CNN. We've oh. arrived at CNN headquarters. The CNN 
originally built the Borealis, you see, but we gave it away to Aperture Science because there was some experimentation that we were doing that was very bad. But thankfully that all ended and that it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Um, I have to um, scout ahead again. Uh, you guys... Uh, you have to this, scout ahead in your own headquarters? Uh, yeah, it's been a while, okay. Uh, discuss. I wasn't aware CNN was this narcissistic. <laughs> Also, CNN is in a lot of different directions, depending on where you look. <laughs> no, this is this building is their headquarters. This is just their wallpaper is just their name everywhere. But why is it just a downward arrow? I, I don't know. I guess they changed their logo. They're not a leftist column. They're a downist column. <laughs> Make the box down. down. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys caught that line, by the way. Like, that's so- that entire training sequence is way too underrated. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we should still be discussing, but, uh... I mean, it's CNN, it's... What else is there to say? I'm surprised that they survived the Resonance Cascade and the alien invasion and the Combine invasion to stop the alien invasion and then the Combine takeover and then 20 years after the Combine takeover. I think you're forgetting the fact that G-Man's kind of like the one that set up the Resonance Cascade and he works for CNN, so... They're, they're behind all of wow. that. That's why they survived. Now, there was some forbidden technology as I was saying, but there's no way that- ah, oh. 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 No. He's having an aneurysm. Help. No. Give him CPR Should or something. Should we put him out of his misery? Oh, we had very different ideas. <laughs> Listen, they're, they're CNN. They're trying to reinstate my programming. We must hurry to the main control room. Uh, dude, we could just build a ladder up here. That's not the control room. No! Oh, it's okay. Oh. Why does that... No. Is this one of your employers? No, Th that, that... This is... What? Big smoke? No. What? I, I told them not to experiment with... No. That, oh, it's probably just a coincidence. Let's go. Um, Mario from the hit game Mario 64 for the PlayStation 2? Um, I don't think that's a factual uh, accuracy. And if their very existence is a factual inaccuracy. inaccuracy. Yeah. They should, that's you know, a hard word to say. I'll explain more later. Wait, you'll explain more later, but aren't you dying though? Uh. Okay, fine. I'll do it, like, in a couple of seconds. Oh, look, it's in the control room. Dr. M Mothman. Mothman? From West Virginia? Gordon! Eli! I'm so happy to see you're alive. I've been investigating this vessel and its purpose. As best as I can tell, it was built to obtain energy from universes outside of our own. At last, I realize! Listen, you two. CNN built the Borealis to experiment with the multiverse. That is pretty much the worst sentence I've ever said. But listen, you got ah ah ah. Listen, press the press that button right there. Okay. It, it, the, the the combine they're using the <laughs> multiverse. They're br they're bringing in negative multiversal forces, but that should bring in the positive ones. Ah, did did ah, it? Did, ah, I, I'm ah. trying to press the. But okay, bye. <laughs> Why does your personality change like every two minutes? <laughs> I feel like it was something to do with the fact that uh, I've been brought back from death. Not only that, but you also witnessed your your daughter's death. It's I, the I, thing I, that happened to Gregor from Bad Batch. Well, the uh, sky looks very wacky today. Wait, Timbleweebs is no. In. Oh no! What he's do in. you know? It, uh, the sky does look pretty low res. You guys, we're we're back at White Forest. Kleiner, Magnuson, Dog, fake British guy. How are you all doing? Uh, but where's but look, 
The Borealis, look at its front. That's a weird You know, I wasn't going to say ornament. anything, but uh, okay. th that's my daughter's head. Timbles, get your camera back out. <clears throat> okay. This Kong right here is a giant boat, but it doesn't need water to stay afloat. It controls the multiverse. Now, don't pee your pants, but it now has the face of Alex Vance. Huh, B-A. The Borealix, B-A. I've been waiting, like, almost a year to make that pun. <laughs> Uh-oh. The negative multiversal forces are starting to invade. Let's hope yeah, they work that Yeah, Eli way. literally got deleted from the universe, and now he has to rematerialize. Give him, like, approximately 30 seconds to oh, load that was a in. deliberate deletion from the universe. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I'm like, <laughs> take me now. Literally nothing wrong with what just happened. There's <laughs> everything wrong with what just happened. Negative multiversal forces are invading now. <clears throat> That's great. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, G-Man, didn't you die in the last segment? Somehow G-Man returned. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm G-Man, I'm evil now. I, originally, I was going to be playing as Mossman during this part, but he's right there, so... Mwahaha, I am summoning the negative multiverse. Why don't we just yeah. kill her, and then you can be Mossman? Ow! Suddenly, they encounter a force that they cannot fight. What? Oh my gosh. Demon boy with lightsaber. I was just gonna say, how are we supposed to fight against the lightsabers? Suddenly, you hear a great noise. A portal opens up. The positive multiverse. Crap. Multiverse forces have arrived. Our heroes. Suddenly, you feel like you stand a chance. Oh wow, everyone is here. I was just gonna make that joke, I hate you so much. <laughs> oh my gosh, Squidward's here too. Sans Undertale, Hitman from the hit game Hitman, the Bionicles. I don't know why Daffy Duck's here, he's kind of a jerk in every piece of media. Harry Potter. Harry Potter is here. Oh, I got the last shot on Thor, nice. Obi-Wan. <laughs> Missing no Minecraft villager Sanic tall Yoda. This is the crossover event. We've been waiting for Arctic Barney <laughs> Borderlands like man. Anymore. No, but it's specifically Harry Potter from the Goblet of Fire PS2 game <laughs> <laughs> What okay, so Shaggy's not helping at all. He just decided to dance Did we win? No. No, this has gone on for long enough. Oh, no. With a flickering light, not a flickering light, with a blinding light, the heroes and antagonists are transported elsewhere. Wow, I didn't know nukes could be used as teleportation technology. <laughs> Just you wait. Right in the middle of, like, the peak of activity during the multiverse war, I got a message from someone on my friends list. If the screen recorder recorded it, it's gonna make the moment so much better. Because <laughs> it's just like, all this chaos starts, and then all of a sudden this message pops up in the corner, and all it says is, What doing? <laughs> Oh, nothing. <laughs> um. Oh, no. I have ma many questions. Though they didn't know where they were at, Gordon and Eli feel the need to choose their arsenal well. You two dim-witted men of science. 
Behold, my evil abode in the distance. We are currently riding thousands of miles per hour toward my evil realm, built by my generous employers who have welcomed me back with open arms. When we reach it, I shall use the mighty bomb of epicness to delete this universe and take over the void that remains, that remains. I have a typo in the script. Gordon and Eli attempt to sway G-Man back to the light side. You live in your own face. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> Forget swaying him back to the light side. Let's just roast him. Eli. I bet you're I bet you're ashamed of yourself. Like this is barely a step up from from the parents' basement. Eli, you are an incompetent scientist who should have heeded my warning before the fateful experiment. You know, the one that made the resonance cascade happen. That's oh, you mean the one where you provided the sample? I was under mind control at the time. Oh, that wow, was... wow, 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 wow. And that's a mistake you will never be able to fix. And Gordon... This is your fault! What are you talking about? <laughs> Gordon, your mother is a bucket. Ah! 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 I can't believe he just randomly turned into a Sith. We got him down 1,000 health, so- Oh no! What? Is he Naruto running? That's an illegal technique. We can't Anime handle is cringe. that. Ah. No! No, I'm alive. I, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, there's a very upset bus driver that keeps swearing at us. Hey, we got him. We got him. <laughs> High five. That was only G-Man's first form. Oh, boy. Gordon and Eli see... A large pantheon in the distance. They, with like a large spherical anomaly floating above it, they know that they must head up there, and they discuss things on the way. I don't like this guy's lips. I've done nothing wrong. Did oh, you hear God. something? All, all I heard was uh, all the your sounds of a dead. traitor. That's a copyrighted line. By who? You know, push me to the edge. All my friends are dead. No, I don't. Oh right, I forgot. You're a pop. You're not up. To, you're not a up to date with the, the with the rap and the hip hop. Uh. Anyway, what is this slightly overweight anime G man? I. Okay. If you say so. You're awfully casual about this, Eli. Do you get teleported to random from worlds like it. this on a daily basis? Sure do. Behold the cool spherical thing above you. It is my mighty bomb of epicness. And with it, I shall delete this universe. And claim the void for my own. Why? Yeah, isn't that going to be kind of boring? There's you just If you just live in the void by yourself. Boring and nothing is the logical conclusion of everything. Nietzsche probably said that at some point. You realize Nietzsche uh, ended up spending the rest of his life in an insane asylum, right? That's because society couldn't handle the truth. There's something wrong with your, your, uh, your head. Yeah, it's a little sideways. I think you have a brain injury. <laughs> That's what they all say. That's what they all say. <laughs> really? <laughs> Eli, you really You're gotta work on point. your throws. <laughs> <laughs> the right click to drop doesn't work with the Half-Life Opposing Force hand grenades. Well, then don't use grenades from the 90s. Use modern-day stuff. What do you think? Oh, fine.
fine. We're up against interdimensional beings that one right didn't now. didn't even go far enough. Look, he's just gonna flip out of the way anyways. Why do you ever give up? What? Boss battle begin. Ah! Um, why does that immobilize you? Ah. Hello? <laughs> Batteries. Oh, Duracell G-Man? I didn't know G-Man ran on batteries. I'm not a robot! Help! No, what the... Uh, He's dual wielding. It's okay, don't worry. This is the inevitable outcome. Oh my gosh. Karate? The Jiu-Jitsu and the martial arts. <laughs> ah, no. Eli, oh, do something. I'm trying. It immobilizes me every time he uses his sword. Yeah, I, hold on. We, we need to call in some backup. That wasn't part of the script. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, fine. Oh. Uh, duel commence. This is not gonna go well. He has, like, infinitely more health than I do. It's okay, Eli. I believe in you. You watched probably, like, one anime. You got this. I literally have not seen a single anime. If you've watched Pokemon, that's enough. Oh my gosh. Okay, fine. I've watched Death Note. <laughs> okay, that's so cringe. You need to die now. <laughs> not the live action. I don't care. Death Note is anime, and anime is cringe. Okay, this Basically was originally my this was originally my final form, but you just launched me into my final final form. Purple laser. This is so <laughs> He has been mortally wounded. Oh yeah, we can tell. It's time to cyberbully him. Oh no. I can feel that mighty bomb of epicness activating. Out of desperation, G-Man and Eli start firing at the bomb. No! No! You fools! You will... You will alter the properties! Oh! They stop firing and realize something has changed about it. Hold on, I forgot to plan this part. <laughs> yeah! I see you have transformed it into one moment. Into one dollar. A, a, to oh. a, a time bomb. This could send you anywhere. To the future that will oppress you. To the past where dinosaurs will eat you. Or maybe, perhaps you'll be peasants to some feudal lord in medieval Europe. Isn't it also equally as likely that it'll send us about five seconds into the past? Uh... Time bomb! The duo wake up to find that they have significantly fewer polygons, and that they are aboard the Black Mesa Tram. The very same day of that fateful experiment, Gordon and Eli realize that they've been given a second chance. Now that they have the advantage of knowing the unforeseen consequences of their actions, they start formulating a strategy on what they can do now that they are in the past. Alright, how are we gonna stop this from happening. Easy. We... Yeah? Did you, did you not see me draw the shotgun? So what, you're gonna shoot the crystal to death? No, we're gonna shoot the scientists who turn on the machine. Oh, okay. Eli has second thoughts immediately after saying this. Apparently I'm having second thoughts now. <laughs> okay, uh, you got any other ideas then? Do you have any ideas? Does the voice from the heavens have any ideas? The two notice a straggler that's trailing below them. Huh? Hey, you guys! You guys! Howdy! Are you late to work or something? Yes. 
Gordon and Eli realized that some straggler from down below had been listening to their conversation. Gordon shuddered. Had this straggler been present in the original timeline as well? Now that Gordon thought about it, he did seem to vaguely remember hearing some bumping and grunting on his morning commute to work that day, though his mind was so occupied by the experiment and being late that he just never gave it a second thought. Stranger still, this odd man looked familiar. If I'm hearing you guys correctly, you guys are from the future and that today's experiment is supposed to cause bad stuff to happen. Is that right? Very uh, bad stuff. Yeah, but why would you just immediately believe that? It was in the script. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you guys would have progressed farther by now. <laughs> Sounds pretty crazy. We must make haste. Don't worry, I, I know a way to make this tram go faster. By the way, you can call me Dr. G. Let me make this tram go a bit faster. I don't think that's working very well. Uh... Teleport. You guys are with me? Follow sure. me. Don't draw too much attention to yourself. Put that crowbar away. And j just let... <sighs> Listen. <laughs> we can't draw too much attention to ourselves. Just... Okay, that works. Just uh, follow me. Let me do the top. <laughs> Walking into a top secret sci science facility with a camera. I'm a sightseer. Hi. I had a system crash about 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to... Follow me. There's a blue suit man who works here. Um, I'm actually his assistant. The G-Man? There he is. Um, uh, oh, it's... Okay, just stand out here. I have the code to the door, jeez. Oh, whoops. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> uh, just let me do the talking. Uh, excuse me, um, Mr. Um, man? Uh, yeah, I just had a question to ask. Um... Uh, no, who, excuse me, who are you? Uh, it's me, Dr. LG. Uh, li listen, listen, um, I just was wondering if I could take a picture with you, um, you know, just before you f***ing DIE! <laughs> Alright, follow me! I vow to prevent this resonance cascade from happening, or my name isn't Laszlo. Let's go! Wow. Eli, I know you weren't there, but there was a guy named Laszlo, uh, uh, when I was, like, doing stuff, you know, a while ago. Uh-huh. I'm not gonna go into detail, because actually that would be a bad idea if he's around it. Uh, oh my god! Laszlo! <laughs> the finest mind of our generation! <laughs> Come to how, such an end! How did you know my middle and last name? Laszlo, the finest mind of his... Generation. Yeah, well, I, I kind of know you Lucky in the future. Yes. Like, he already knows we're from the future. I can just tell him that I've met him before. I see. Well, I'm, hopefully I was at the top of some chain of command and doing wonderful things. That's probably... Oh, yeah, nice. Well, you were at the bottom of the food chain, that's for sure. I mean, I wasn't there. What? Go. He's so extreme. I wish I was as cool as him. You will never be as cool as Laszlo. Oh, he talks about himself in the third person, too. I've always yeah. wanted to do that. Alright, alright. I have a plan. Ah, go no ahead. time to explain! Listen, computer man, open compartment C. Try, just do it! Suddenly you hear some whirring noise. Yes! The tool, it's still here. Oh my god. Oh no, I tripped and died. Oh, listen. <laughs> Make your way down to the test chamber. Go, go, go. You ready to kill some people? I think we're just supposed to shoot the bomb, Eli. Oh. What's the meaning of this? Hi. How, how dare you? <laughs> that works too. <laughs> I didn't have much to say anyway. <laughs> I was given clear instructions and I followed them. Just gonna like keep vamping my monologue until you finally shot the. <laughs>
You're that welcome. <laughs> Eli is the most unexpectedly unhinged character in this entire thing. I thought I was going to be the weird one, and and Mahogany, I thought you were going to be, like, the sane, like, mind of the group that tries to keep me under control, and no, it's just the complete opposite. You're welcome! <laughs> Seeing your daughter die did something to you, man. Gordon and Eli are unsure where they are taken to but they seem relieved to have prevented the greatest catastrophe humanity had ever encountered. They reflect on their journey. So, literally all we did was nuke the place that would be nuked in a few hours anyway? Before the disaster happened. Oh, okay. So, uh, is this what Earth is now? Where it's just... I've, I think this is ground zero, and now we're, like, hundreds of thousands of years in the future, and so this is the wildlife that sprung up because it's all been irradiated. Don't shoot Immortal. the wildlife. It's more open-ended than that. <laughs> this place is Yo, he's got them Heelys. <laughs> he's using them on the stairs. <laughs> We've got some cabbage barnies growing in the cabbage field, and... Uh, oh, and we got cabbage in the cabbage field, too. That's nice. Oh, good. We got you, but when you're evolved into a long neck uh, dinosaur and or traff. Sorry, Doc. I'm sorry that that's what you eventually become. Oh, that's uh, okay. My lifelong dream was to be a giraffe. And so the scientists who cheated death at White Forest cheated death once again while traveling back to that fateful day, and the world was forever changed. Back on Earth, Laszlo, the finest mind of his generation, inexplicably escaped from the facility and was able to convince Earth's governments of the threat of the Combine that still lurked out there so that when they did invade, the Seven Hour War was more like a two and a half hours war that ended with a resounding human victory. Taking inspiration from his approach at Black Mesa, Laszlo haphazardly threw a yellow nuke at the Combine Overworld and set free all of their enslaved species, putting an end to the multidimensional empire once and for all. Though Gordon, Eli, G-Man, and everyone else at Black Mesa disappeared in a flash of light that day, the facility was going to get nuked anyway, so whatever. This, yeah, that sounds about right. This conflict would have been impossible to pay for with credit, only accepting cash and never get it, giving cash back. Because war... War never changes. The end. He <laughs> popped Breen's balloon right as you said the <laughs> end. <laughs> Now he really has a reason to be sad. Breen survives in the future and he just becomes this. I was more thinking this was like a afterlife of some sort. I was gonna say. <laughs> okay, close enough. We're in the afterlife. Yeah.